Hello there, everybody. Hey, it's Coffee Shop Thursday. I have my coffee right here in my travel mug. Mmm. Oh, wow, that's hot. Woo. I want you to travel with me out to my backyard. I'm already out here in amongst the chickens because, well, you may have just heard a few of them squabbling. It seems like it's like that all the time around here, you know? All these chickens are, are fighting for dominance there. They, they want to establish their, their pecking order. And uh, let's see. There's a few of them out here right now really squawking it up. And um, on the inside, the other barn there, somebody just laid an egg and they're announcing that. I have ducks running around. Hey, they look for dominance. I have dogs out here that are supposedly protecting the, the flocks and everybody else. And same with them. They like to establish an order of who's in charge. Isn't that just the way the world is? And isn't that the way the world is today? You know, I'm walking out here and it's, it is, even with all that noise, it's beautiful. It's serene. I wonder how many people yesterday woke up in Ukraine and went out and took care of their chickens. You know, walked out there and, and maybe it was cold. I don't know exactly what the temperatures are. I know it's winter there as well as it is here. Uh, and they just woke up to an ordinary day. Oh, yeah, there have been all this talk and all these rumors of war and things like that. And, oh, come on, that's not going to happen, is it? He wouldn't do that, would he? I mentioned last week when we talked about the Joseph story, how the book of Genesis is just riddled with stories. And I don't mean they're jokes. I mean, they're all over the place of sibling rivalries and disagreements and hatred toward one another. And, you know, what, what's going on with us as human beings? Well, this coming week uh, is going to prove to be quite interesting in the history of our world. Especially as we now see it unfolding before us in Ukraine. Um, it's also a Sunday that we celebrate the transfiguration of Christ. But what I like is, and I think we, we should talk about that, is the second lesson for the day. That even though its main focus was on the veil that we saw Moses put over his face when he brought the Ten Commandments down from Exodus. Paul talks about that, how he had to put this veil on, but how this veil covers other people now we, and, and they can't see the truth that's in Christ. Well, those veils cover a lot of people. They cover our faces as well. Hide us from the truth, the truth that is the Spirit of God. The truth that is, love is the answer. Love truly is the answer. Loving one another as God first loved us. Uh, and that's a hard thing to see. At the end of that uh, passage from 2 Corinthians, it talks about us being transfigured, us being transformed, changed bit by bit by bit. And I certainly hope and pray that that's what happens in our world today. I hope and pray that's what happens in the Ukraine. Uh, I'm not sure how that could be. Um, it, it just does not look like a very good situation for the people that live there. So let's keep our, our prayers ascending for them. This is a very difficult moment in their history. But let's just remember, uh, our United States history is loaded with such examples of meanness and hatred toward others even toward one another that uh hey we have a lot of repenting to do for for our past but it's all really about what we do right now and how we allow that that love of god to to come into our lives and and fill us with a spirit of of joy, a peace, of reconciliation, of getting along with one another. It's a tough one to ask for, but let's let our prayers go up now for all those, our brothers and sisters in Christ who are who are praying fervently in Ukraine that peace would be given a chance. Well, God's blessings be with you. If you can, before the snow flies again, we get another three to six inches tomorrow. 
get outside, take a walk. It's cold, but you know what? A lot of the snow is melted. There's a lot of free ground that's been refrozen, but at least it's not slippery anymore. Although you do have to watch out for the occasional patch of ice. But as you walk and as you enjoy the weather wherever you are, allow that love to fill your hearts, especially in an attitude of prayer for all those who are in harm's way this day. God's blessings be with you.